destroy a battery of AA guns that's shooting down our bombers. But we have to push through enemy territory and Well, well, well. We're playing uh, my favourite game at the moment. The only one I really kind of did okay at. My son Keanu is playing this. So it's not my gameplay. So I don't even know what it's going to be like. But enjoy the gameplay anyway. It might be good. Keanu's um, reactions are far faster than mine. I'm kind of an old man now. My eyes. My eyes actually are. Aren't that great? I'm surprised. Uh, I hit 45 and all of a sudden I've turned into an old man. And it kind of sucks. The game itself is actually pretty good fun. Um, you're going to get campers and all that sort of shit, but the weapons are pretty good. Uh, there was a lot of negativity. I saw some of my favourite YouTubers, 8 Thoughts and all that, um, poo pooing the game. Just shitting on it from great height. And. Uh, you know, I'm not one to follow what somebody says, you know, I always like to try something out before I buy anyway. So I was chuffed to get a beta key from um, an Activision, I think it was an Activision, um, uh, I don't know, representative or, I, I don't know, a friend of Activision. Uh, whoever he was, I've forgotten his name now and I do apologise. I'll put in the link in the comments below. This guy was on Twitter and he offered me a, a beta key, well, for nothing. I want anything for it? You know, I, I was whinging for three days to uh, Activision, to Michael Condry. Can I please have a bait key? Just so I can try it out. Because my kid. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> uh, just so my kids could try it out, poor Keanu. And Keanu liked the beta. He's happy I'm getting it. My son, Brandon, enjoyed it. Personally speaking, um, I died a lot. My kids did as well. But don't let that put you off, the game was still enjoyable. In short bursts for me, I immensely enjoy it, well, enjoyed it, or tried to enjoy it. Um, I think when you get used to all the camping spots, all the little uh, quirks in the game, all the hiding places, and you master them yourself, the game's really enjoyable. Um, I still can't work out some of the spawns, they just don't make sense. And dying so quickly in this game is amazing. I mean, here my son's trying to be careful. And, you know, he has the heads up, he knows where he's going to turn up, but the shot wasn't on point. And, you know, he gets taken out. The thing is, he actually had cover there, but he still got killed. With the, it's just sometimes I think the feel of the view kind of distracts from the fact that you're actually not in cover. And it's one of the big pains in this game. You think you're in a safe spot, but you're not. You can be shot from anywhere. I've tried to find on certain spots, especially on this war map, little places where I can actually snipe from you know to keep the enemy at bay and on the uh, bridge part of the uh, of this map which is my favorite part um, I, I just found it very difficult <laughs> very difficult to find those spots and to hold the enemy back but when I did find that sweet spot the game is immensely enjoyable and I held the whole team back just sniping the bridge builders now when you actually lose a point you have to um, kind of retreat and this uh, retreat mechanism has been seen in Verdun and stuff like that. You know, when the enemies win in, you have to pull back. And you know, it's just basically what you see also in Battlefield, uh, the rush mode, you know. And the best thing about it is you can leave little presents behind when you're retreating like a personnel mine. And it's a good laugh when you get a double kill for personnel mine, you know. So you can be retreating and still get those kills in. I always tend to drop a personnel mine in the most obvious place. The explosives, all the weapons that make a bang, are not too bad. They've not been nerfed down too much, but I hope Sajama aren't thinking of uh, nerfing them because the explosions and everything, the grenades, the uh, anti personnel mines uh, are great fun. I'd hate to see them nerfed. Just keep them as they are, they're fine. The smoke grenade I thought was a bit weak. It doesn't really cover too much. I threw one near the bridge building spot and it didn't cover us for that long. And we were sniped because our name, our red name, or to the enemy, our red name be shown right ab above our heads near the smoke. And that kind of kills the point if there's smoke, your name should be showing up. That kind of pissed me off a little bit. It's just one of those things, I guess. So what did I like about the game? Well, war mode I immensely enjoyed. Um, domination, not so really. I mean the kill streaks and obviously getting kills is a lot easier in domination mode but as soon as you get those kill streaks the game becomes just a 
well, a bloodbath really. You're just getting hit by shells, planes and everything. And everyone knows where you are. People are camping. And you do get your ass handed to you. I prefer war mode. It's more team based, more fun. But some things about the team mode in this game irk me. I mean, it doesn't really encourage gameplay when, you know, or, or tempting to do, to build a bridge like here. Because your name is just plastered in red, even in smoke. When the smoke's there, your red name shouldn't show. Above red, we know you're trying to build the bridge, and a good sniper will know exact position where you're going to be. Now, son doesn't really know all the positions here, but you know he's doing his best. He's trying to win the game. But by the time he's built this bloody machine gun, a sniper's took him out. It's not even worth building the machine gun. You're dead even before you lay it. But placing personnel mine there is pretty good, but not when you're running a straight line. <laughs> As you see, the MGs are, wow, well overpowered. There's not enough recoil. I think, uh, I'd, I'd like to see more, well, cooler weapons. I mean, the flamethrower is pretty good. The best thing about this is, you don't lose it when you die. You carry it with you until you've actually used it up. That's a good change. I used to hate it when you finally get a, a kill streak or a special weapon. And then unfortunately, because uh, you got killed by a lucky shot, because you die so quick in this game, uh, you, you lost your special weapon. And that sucked. It's nice that you still have it. Multiplayer is pretty good fun as well, but I think 6v6 is just too few. I think 8v8 or a 12v12 would be nice. Maybe a bigger playlist. I, could, I mean, COD could easily handle, you know, 12 aside easily. I think the game suffers for it. The lack of numbers. It makes the game boring. I think a lot of people turn off from these sort of games because of the lack of uh, innovation which this game needs. I mean, there's a few changes. You can build barricades, which um, to me is okay. But a lot of people have been saying the graphics aren't great, and it is an old engine, 10 year old engine. I mean, I've been saying it for, well, two or three years. COD needs to upgrade its graphics engine. It's pretty piss poor. Now, there are some modes I quite like. This war mode was the most fun. The multiplayer is okay. Again, I died a lot, but I died a lot here. Bit of a pain, but you know. The thing is, I keep playing this. Even when I have a bad round, I have fun playing this game. It, it can be immensely enjoyable. I look forward to seeing what other maps have the war mode. It would be really good to see what they come up with. But sometimes their placings of the machine gun nests and these build points are poorly placed to the fact that they're actually useless and the problem is the uh, opposing team will know exactly where these machine guns are and they can throw a grenade straight where you are and that's it. Of course you get Bell End players uh, playing you as well. Why the fuck he's doing that I don't know. But you know, you can get trolls everywhere you play. Snipers are a pain in the arse. The game caters for snipers and there's lots of sniping spots. Not good to see but yeah, you know. What can you do? Nothing you can do about that. You always gonna have annoying snipers OP in the game. They're not gonna do much about it, never do. But as long as you know where they are, they're fair game. You can counter snipe. Nothing stop you doing that. So most of the weapons are pretty well balanced. Grenades are okay. What else? Score streaks, kill streaks, whatever you want to call them. Quite like them actually, they're pretty good. I managed to attain a couple. Didn't get any kills with them, but the fact I actually got three in a row, I was quite impressed. So yeah, it's attainable. One of them's a Molotov cocktail. One Molotov. That's all you get. Pretty shit. But, you know, it's an easy one to get. Sniping this game is really good fun. The uh, ADS needs to be nerfed. Definitely. I think um, if you're being shot at, even if it's a few inches from you, or meters from you, you should have... Uh, that should that should match you matter when you're sniping. You know, you shouldn't have the the free reign to snipe without any obstacles or any effects to your vision, you know. I want to see some shake or some stammer, a little bit of wobble trying to aim, you know. Make it a bit hard for these no-scopers to uh, play the game and have it their way because sniping is OP. That's the only thing I really hated about it. And the Gibraltar map, that sucked balls. Apart from that, the beta was good fun. And again, I'll catch you guys later in another video. Till then, uh, yeah, buy the game. I thought it was alright, actually. But buy it cheap if you can.